In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to create some charts in SPSS. The dataset that I'll be using is the demo.sav file, which I used in my previous video as well. It's just a hypothetical dataset about a survey comparing different categorical variables such as marital status and employment, happiness, and stuff like that versus some scale variables, but it doesn't really matter what the data is, just the technique on how to create the charts. Okay, so to create a chart, you go to the menu and then click on graphs and chart builder. What this dialog box shows gives you the list of variables in your current data set, the default templates of the different graphs SPSS allows you to create and as well as some different tabs basic elements allows you to create a, a graph with your own axes your axes can be customized as well as some different elements and title and footnotes that allows you to create titles and footnotes for your specific graph or chart that you're creating as well as group points and id okay so to start off I'm going to be clicking the simple bar. There are a lot of different types of bar charts that you can choose from and they're pretty self-explanatory based on the, the picture that is represented in SPSS. But once you've decided which bar chart you want to use, you simply click it and drag it over here. And this gives you a, a default template and hasn't actually created a chart yet because there's no variables entered into it and yeah to enter a variable into it you simply choose which one you want to have and drag it to either the y-axis or the x-axis drop-off zone and you can also change the type of data that you're working with in this variable list for example I want to make hmm, For example, I want to make the variable of job satisfaction a categorical variable instead of a, a ranked variable to use as my x-axis variable. So I'll simply right-click on job satisfaction and then click an ordinal scale. And because this is a, a categorical variable, it can be either ranked or ordinal, I, it will be suitable for the bar chart x-axis. So I drag it over and drop it off here and then it will show me the counts of each category and whether they and the distribution of the different categories so either highly dissatisfied, somewhat satisfied and the different ones. I want to compare the variable of job satisfaction with the variable of household income to see if the two have some type of relationship and if so what this relationship is as shown by the chart. So if I can find this variable household income there we go. So I drag it to the y-axis and drop it down and then this would once I click OK it will create an output and that would be the graph. So as you can see from this graph and SPSS output, it gives the mean household incomes for the highly dissatisfied people or people who have a highly dissatisfied job satisfaction and the mean household income for somewhat dissatisfied and as you can see, people who are more highly satisfied with their jobs have a greater mean household income. So this chart allows you to basically really vi visualize the data that you're working with and also it's really good for presenting it to other people. Also once you've created your graph you can edit it more so by double clicking on the output graph um, this chart editor dialog box will open up and it gives you a lot of different options to customize your chart to exactly what you want it to show. For example if you go to elements and data label mode you can either singularly click on which columns you want to have data shown 
or you can just click that and it shows all data. So instead of having to read what the graph is comparing the different axes, it will just tell you straight away, which is pretty useful. And you can also change the color of the graph. That's always nice to because it's a bit boring default colors. And to do this, you simply double click on any column or bar and it will show. I'll give you the option to in the fill and border tab to change the, the color to exactly whatever you want it to be. Such as that. And then to save the changes you merely exit the chart editor and that's what it will look like. As well as you can also edit the labels the same way, the different labels of the chart like so and then save it as you want it and also a pretty useful thing to know is that you can change what type of x or like y axis you want the different categories to rep be representing for example in the graph that I just showed you I was using this, the mean statistic but there's a whole lot of different ones that you can use such as mean medium group medium mode percentage and also depending on what type of category and variable type of variable data that you're working with you'll have different options and which different statistics to show you're also able to edit your chart more by clicking on the element properties tab and going to the specific axis you want to look at and also depending on the type of data nominal ordinal or ratio data you'll have different options in which you can like customize a specific category for example for x-axis job satisfaction I can order and choose even to exclude certain categories which I'm don't, not really interested in looking at and as well for the ratio I can choose what the minimum maximum and if I want to start not at zero the origin for the y-axis could be all just different little things that you can edit about your charts which can be useful in certain situations where you want something very specific okay moving on to the next chart I'll be looking at a pie chart so resetting this chart builder I'm now going to go to pie or polar depending on what you'd like to call it and drag this chart template into the chart folder dialog box now if you remember my, if you watched my previous video you would know that with pie charts it's, it's pretty important what type of data you're using interval data has far too many different little bits of data and and range of data to be able to be of any real use in a pie chart so again you want to try to use ordinal and nominal type of data categorical type of data as opposed to ratio or scale data for pie charts so in this in this example I'll be using internet as the variable I want to explore and because it's a, a scale variable at the moment I want to change it the same way I changed the other data in the bar chart to a nominal variable and then instead of a x-axis and a y-axis you have a slice by variable and an angle variable I'll only be using the, the slice by variable this chart will be looking specifically at how many participants entered in each category for the variable of internet whether they have it or not in the survey and quite simply once this is done you have the count you have this variable you click OK and you can see it shows that the vast majority of the people do not have internet as opposed to those who do have internet however this pie chart by default does not show you the missing variables so going back to the chart folder and going back to the chart we previously made click on options and you can see here you can see the option to include missing data in the chart that's showing and in some cases it will show quite a different picture 
as to when you exclude missing data. So it's important to take into account what exactly you want to show. So clicking OK and clicking OK here, you can see that the answers are quite a little bit different to what they're shown here. Still, the vast majority of the people do not have internet, but not quite as many of them as it could possibly be. Some of the people who does not know and who didn't give an answer may be in the yes category. So it's important to take these little nuances into account when working with data. And again, once this chart has been created in SPSS output, you can double click on it and give data and customize the data shown as much as you want to, different colors for the different slices of the pie chart, as well as showing the data specifically for each little slice. The last chart that we'll be looking at in this video is the scatter plot. And to get that you simply go to the gallery and select scatter slash dot, drag it over to the dialog box. And then again you have that default template set up. So choosing your variables for a scatter plot chart, you really want to be using both the scale variable for both the x-axis and the y-axis because you want to have as many intermittent variables or data within a large range as possible to get the most accurate scatter of the points which then have some type of correlation and you can visualize that correlation as well as doing statistical analysis on that correlation on a chart. And now for the, the variables that I'll be using in this example are simply years with current employer and household income. If you want to add a third variable, uh, a third layer, which pretty much categorizes these two variables into two separate, or not necessarily two, but into a categorical data set such as gender be male or female and then you click OK and SPSS will calculate the graph and show you the output. So as you can see there are lots of different data points on this chart and while it's not really too clear what the correlation or relationship between these two data is kind of seems like the dots are going in a positive direction, positive correlation, starting low on the left side and going higher towards the right. And in order to like test this statistically, we can go to the chart editor, double clicking on the graph, go to elements and you can go fit line at total. This will calculate the coefficient of determination, also known as R squared, and I'll show you. As you can see, it isn't exactly a strong relationship, but it definitely is there, and you can see by the moderate, weak to moderate R squared score. So in this example, we can say that around 33 to 34% of variability of the variable household income in the thousands can be explained by the variable of the years with current employer. It kind of suggests that the longer you spend with one employer, the greater the chances of you earning more money are, at least according to this data. And that is pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching.